apparently Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene are beefing. Now, it's to my understanding that Laura Loomer actually helped Donald Trump prep for the debate along with Tulsi Gabbard, I think. At least she was spotted with him on his plane uh, when he arrived in Pennsylvania for the debate. I don't necessarily know if she helped him, but the fact that she's on a plane with Trump, um, not necessarily the best strategist or, I don't know, advice giver. I, I feel like Trump surrounds himself with the dumbest people imaginable. Nonetheless, you know, there's going to be a little bit of anger there because Marjorie Greene has been very loyal to Donald Trump. And I kind of feel like maybe he is giving her the cold shoulder. He's embracing Laura Loomer, who hates her. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's just read this. I'll shut the fuck up. Time to let your friends who understandably left Twitter know they're missing Laura Loomer telling Marjorie Green she has Arby's in her pants and implying video exists of her using the N-word. Stop. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Laura L Not Laura Loomer telling Marjorie she has Arby's in her pants. Damn. Bringing roast beef into the conversation. Leave the roast beef out of politics. What are we doing? Okay. Fuck. This is gonna this is gonna be a long one. Okay. Brian, why'd you share this? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you know that this is like catnip for me. Hey Marjorie Green, remember when you destroyed your family so you could have sex with <laughs> With the Zangief cosplayer. I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> we're off to a great start. Tell me again how you and the Arby's in your pants are represented. <laughs> the fuck, man? And the Arby's in your pants are representative of the GOP. I'm already crying. I'm two sentences into this beef, and I'm crying. God, these people are so fucking demonic, but the amount of unintentional joy they bring to our lives, it, you know, it can't be overstated. You couldn't even run your own family. Oh, because a family's just like a fucking government, I guess. Uh, don't tell me how to run my free speech. Is there any background to this? What did Marjorie Taylor Greene say to Laura Loomer that would get her to say, oh my God, don't tell me how to do my free speech. I feel like that doesn't even make sense. Don't tell me how to run my free speech. What, she has to, she's probably just saying, like, don't tell me what to say or what not to say. But since she is uh, a right winger with online, like, terminal online brain rot, she has to frame it in free speech. Where it's like, you know, if you're getting into an argument with somebody and they're like, shut up. You're like, don't violate my free speech. Like, that's how, that's probably, like, the way that they think. They think in tweets. But anyways. So uh, Marjorie, I guess, responds. I'm not sure what the order this is in, but. This is appalling and extremely racist. Okay, let me read this first. So this is from Laura Loomer. Okay. So Laura Loomer tweeted, If Kamala Harris wins, the White House will smell like curry and White House speeches will be facilitated via a call center and the American people will only be able to convey their feedback through a customer satisfaction survey at the end of the call. Okay, yeah, that is extremely racist. Okay. I did a double take. Marjorie Green is calling out Laura Loomer's racism? What? Is there some kind of fuckery with the multiverse going on? Is this the same Marjorie Green that we had from a couple of months ago? The Marjorie Green who uh, claimed that wearing masks on the, on the floor of the house was akin to the Holocaust? Is this the same person or did we get a little switcheroo? Or maybe there's a Freaky Friday situation going on. But Marjorie Green is calling out Laura Loomer's racism towards Kamala, a Democrat. Yeah, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Um, m my brain's about to explode, but let's keep going. This is appalling and extremely racist. It does not represent who we are as Republicans or MAGA. This does not represent President Trump. This type of behavior should not be tolerated ever. Laura Loomer, you should take this down. Damn. Um, but yeah, Laura Loomer was in the plane. I don't know what instigated this. Uh, man, I wish that we had a little bit more context because did this 
happened after there were reports that Laura Loomer was on the plane with Trump uh, or got off the plane with Trump as he arrived in Pennsylvania for the debate. And she was jealous, like, hey, let me delegitimize this person. So Trump is it with her. Is it jealousy? Does she just like genuinely care that Trump is associating with someone who's crazy? I mean, it's Donald Trump. He had dinner with Nick Fuentes, white supremacist. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this, but I guess there's more. Okay. Who is this guy in the corner? Exclusive. Embattled QAnon Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's openly cheated on her husband of 25 years with a polyamorous tantric sex guru and then moved on to another affair with the manager at her gym. This is the person, I guess. Does he not look exactly like a Street Fighter character? What's his name? I can't remember the name of the character. Um, I'm blanking, but it's giving Street Fighter. Um, okay. Once again, Marjorie Greene, who is extremely jealous and vindictive over the fact that she wasn't successful in turning Donald Trump against me. Okay, so that's what this is about, uh, at least according to Laura Loomer, who, like, I don't want to take sides here because I just want to say let them fight. They're both evil. But if I had to take a side, gun to my head, I would think that Marjorie Greene is probably more sane than Laura Loomer. And I get that the bar is, like, it's in hell. But Marjorie Greene is probably more mature and reasonable than Laura Loomer. And that is the only context that I will ever say Marjorie Marjorie is uh, sane and reasonable, uh, comparatively speaking, to be very fucking clear. Don't take me out of context. Oh, that's the Zangief. For okay, okay, thank you, thank you. That's the Zangief reference from earlier. Okay. Oh, so he's literally a cosplayer. So when I was saying it's giving Street Fighter, like he was actually going for that. Okay, okay, that makes sense then. I've not played Street Fighter since Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo, and I don't remember a lot. I remember Blanca and Chun-Li, and I remember my dad would spam the kick attack, and I would lose every time, because it would be very difficult to dodge that. Uh, that's all I remember. I haven't played it since. Uh, no, that's not that's not true. I have. This is such a tangent. I'm like Trump with fucking crowd sizes. Let me, let me continue, okay? She wasn't successful in turning Donald Trump against me and is now behaving like a leftist. Oh, no. And accusing me of being racist. Kamala Harris, see, you never want to be accused of being leftist. Don't act like a leftist because that's a cardinal sin for uh, a mega chud like Laura Loomer. Uh, Kamala Harris is on video calling herself Indian and saying she cooks with curry. What What the fuck is the point, though? Didn't So she said the White House is going to smell like curry. Do you think that she's going to cook curry in the Oval Office? You're being racist. And now you're trying to be like, ooh, ooh no, I wasn't trying to be racist. You know, she cooks curry. Laura, shut the fuck up. You know exactly what you're doing, you disingenuous motherfucker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's trying to run away from it. She also refuses to speak to the media. So there's a strong likelihood that she would set up a call center to... She's actually trying to... Ooh, ooh I'm not actually being racist. I can't with these people. Just, you are openly racist. Why are you running away from it? Just own it. Say it with your full chest, Laura. Wow. She's actually trying to be like, no, actually, I, I mean, literally, that she's going to set up a call center. Laura, this is this is clown shit. This is why, in a disagreement with you and Marjorie, she comes out on top. Marjorie Green comes out on top. Because you just, you can't, you can't be serious even for five seconds to win a debate. She also refuses to speak to, to the media, so there will be a strong likelihood that she will set up a call center to avoid speaking to the press and being honest with the American people. Okay, sure, sure. Hey, MTG, speaking of racism, one of your former staffers told me you have a favorite word that starts with N. What if the staffer has a video? You can't see this. It's it's cut off by the screen. Let me uh, pull it up a little bit. Okay. Is this true? Let me zoom back in. It's rather ironic that MTG wants to call me a racist when MTG is a full-blown anti-Semite who believes that Jewish people use space lasers to control the world. Point to Laura Loomer, that's true. Damn, what's this? Who's keeping score? What the fuck is happening? Along with being an anti-Semite, MTG is also a poor excuse for a Christian. Oh, that's too far. Don't you dare criticize her for being an imperfect Christian, okay? God forgives. That's why he died on the cross, okay? 
So Laura Loomer is really exposing herself here. Uh, she's a poor excuse for a Christian. Her marriage failed because she couldn't keep her legs closed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Slut shaming now. While she was a new member of Congress and was too busy screwing some guy from her CrossFit. Damn. So she's going for the jugular. She is not representative of the GOP or what it means to be America first. Nobody. T oh, let me go up. Sorry. It's a really giant picture. So I'm trying to give you the whole image. Uh, nobody talks about her anymore because she's annoying and irrelevant and a sellout. Hey, MTG, how come you... She keeps saying, hey, MTG. Okay, tweets are too long now. I don't like that you can pay for Twitter and then have, like, unlimited characters. This is just so difficult to keep up with. It's so long. Hey, MTG, how come you weren't at the debate? Guess you gave up on Trump when he gave up... When he gave up on your boyfriend, Speaker McCarthy. Okay, let me move it over. Don't talk about representing Donald Trump when you paid for ye for the Yay 2024 do domain and used your campaign funds to orchestrate the dinner between Nick Fuentes and Kanye West. Is this tea? Did we not know about this beforehand? Because I thought that by then, Marjorie Greene was already feigning ignorance after she spoke at AFPAC. I could be fucking up the timeline, but at the same time, take all of this with a grain of salt because I don't feel like Laura Loomer is the most reliable source. Obviously, neither of them are reliable sources, but if I had to say one of them is probably more reliable than the other, I unfortunately have to say Marjorie Greene. And like, I would never say that in any other context, but because we're talking about Marjorie Greene versus Laura Loomer, then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I actually believe Marjorie more. Man, that's, I just said that shit. What the fuck? I exposed you months ago and I'll oh I exposed you months ago and I'll do it again you trailer trash harpy Wow 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 okay is there more I need more 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 <laughs> This feels kind of demented but I I do want to see more let me check Marjorie Taylor Greene's timeline she has a picture of her Tucker Carlson who just platformed uh, a Nazi and uh, Donald Trump looking real sweaty and wet. Gross. Okay. Any updates? Oh, okay. So I don't know if she responded directly to Laura Loomer. Oh, okay, okay. But she did do a follow-up that we did not see. A little bit of a history lesson for, uh, for a few of you. Laura and I used to be friends going back to 2018. I used to defend her and support her, like in this post here. Jack, you may have banned Laura Loomer, but you can't silence her voice. We are all Laura Loomer, so stop the bias. This is you just posting your L, Marjorie. Why would you post this? Don't. You're, you're point taken away from Marjorie. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Okay. I endorsed her first run for... Oh, I forgot that Laura Loomer ran for Congress. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this is bringing back so many fucking memories. God, my brain is rotten to the core to be enjoying this. Uh, I, I have to acknowledge this is this is truly um, a new low for me. The fact that I'm reading this and it's like fucking I don't know TMZ for me. God, what's wrong? What is wrong with me? I need to stop following politics. Uh, I endorsed her first run for Congress, donated to her, and fundraised for her, and then she lost. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Don't admit this shit, Marjorie. You're just delegitimizing yourself further. You have the upper hand here, goddammit. Yeah, this, this to, as Tara says, this is reality TV. This is political reality TV. Like, this is the best Twitter slop. Then, uh, when she ran against Daniel Webster, I told her to run in another district so she could win, but she refused. When I didn't endorse her, she turned on me and began attacking me and lying about me. <laughs> I mean, that's what you all do to each other. So are you really that surprised? Don't vote for the leopards eating people's faces party and expect the leopards to not eat your face. That's just on you. Uh, I still advocated for her to get her former Twitter account back. 
uh, Twitter back now X account. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying because if you if you said Twitter, I would have no idea that you were talking about X. Uh, Laura has lied so much about me and others like Matt Gates, even though we are President Trump's most loyal and fierce elected members of Congress. She breaks a few good stories here and there, but uh, there are many others she embellishes or flat out lies. However, her attacks have no bearing on me, nor am I concerned with what she says. As a matter of fact, outside of a bubble on this platform, most regular people don't know who she is. That is quite literally the most true thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene has ever said. Um, and I hate to give her credit for that, but it's true. Let's let her cook. Uh, but when it comes to uh, posts that are flat out racist, hateful, and make President Trump look bad, she needs to be responsible and delete them. I mean, yeah, I agree, but not the best messenger. I do want to say, though, because Marjorie Green, you know, it does feel a little bit hypocritical. Um, let's look just out of curiosity. Let's look at the replies to her scolding Laura Loomer for being racist. I agree that Laura Loomer was being racist, but what do her followers say? Because you curated this audience of very racist right-wingers, and they've come to expect racism from you. Um, so this is kind of like a 180. It'd be like if I all of a sudden was like, you know what? Uh, I don't support Medicare for all anymore. I support private insurance. All of my followers would be like, what the fuck happened? Like, what, were you bought off? So it's it's a 180 for sure. But like, how how is this being received? Oh God, that's uh, haunting. We're gonna see all the libs first. Let's let's go to her core audience. Okay. Oh, so she responded directly to it. Okay. Okay. There's so much libs. Hey, Laura Loomer, what changed? But I'm gonna tell you about one right now, and her name is Laura Loomer. Laura Loomer, who is my friend, and I will proudly defend her, is a... Okay, I think that maybe this reply in the reply section to Marjorie Green is what prompted that follow-up. But I want to see what the Republicans think. Oh, this person is like, really? Racism is all you have? Yeah, she tweeted this shit like two days ago. Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. You just tweeted racism a couple of days ago. Haitian immigrants chasing a cat? It's not even fucking true. And now you're scold. None of this makes sense to me. None of this makes sense to me. Okay, here we go. Back the fuck up. You haven't done shit for this country except run your fat mouth online in congressional hearings. Not one person has ever been brought to justice. At least Laura, who is a private citizen, by the way, is actually exposing criminals and frauds. This one is like, hey guys, can we stop fighting? If real Donald Trump supporters can f cannot focus on being elected, we are all fucked. They won't swear, though, but they'll vote for a racist like Donald Trump who wants to kill democracy. Stop this. You're feeding the enemy. Trump 2024. I really want him to win. <laughs> okay, Annie. <laughs> Fuck. I feel like you didn't need to weigh in here. Uh, who gets to decide what people get to say? You. Oh, so there we go. There we go. This one. Mm, I would guess that they're a Trump supporter. They're a right winger who... Uh, you know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene hoped to follow her. Now they're like, hey, uh, uh, why are you saying racism is bad? You you told us racism was good. We're following you for the racism. There's so many liberals mixed in. STFU, Jezebel. Okay, Jezebel is something that a Christian would say. That's a right winger. What happened, Marge? So another person, hypocrisy burning her. So, okay, it's hard to tell, but it really seems like her... Her followers are like, they're shocked because all of a sudden Marjorie's saying racism is bad. Uh, I do want to check Laura Loomer's timeline and see what she's saying. If there's any updates, Laura Loomer unleashed should be unhinged. Of course, it's on Rumble. Look, even her dog is like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to be in a fucking picture with you. Evil. Uh, OK. Is she saying anything else? Let, uh, let me let me see some replies too. So the many reporters who are calling me and obsessively asking me to talk to them today, the answer is no. <laughs> I'm so popular. Everybody wants to hear from me. Oh, she's loving this. And Marjorie Green is fighting with her publicly. She's living her best life right now. Why is the media so afraid of me? Because you're a psychopath and you're like, 
you're in the ear of somebody who wants to be president and who could win. That's why they're afraid of you. We're all afraid of you, okay? Okay, is there anything new here? She has lied about everything. J6 prisoners are... Oh, see, Marjorie doesn't support the J6 prisoners. Why is she at... <laughs> she's she's snitch-tagging Jake Tapper, so he reports on Marjorie Green. <laughs> is that what's happening? Jake Tapper and MTG both... Oh, oh, oh I see, okay. I didn't read the whole thing. I just was a little bit confused why she tagged Jake Tapper. Jake Tapper and MTG both attacked me for this tweet today. I've noticed the pattern of MTG colluding with the left media to submit. <laughs> you know that Jake Tapper and Marjorie Green are in fucking cahoots. I bet they're texting like, you know what? Let's let's get this motherfucker. Let's let's both tweet at her. A tweet about this. This is unacceptable. She has to be stopped. Uh, I hope anyone is successful in moving, removing MTG from office. We can agree on that, okay? Wow. Did she tweet the same thing over and over again? What I don't know what's going on. My correspondents and I are asking the hard questions that need to be asked of Senate candidates. Okay, this is un unrelated. Okay, that seems like, at least for now, that's the end of the controversy really really um unhinged stuff so this is from an hour ago so this is kind of breaking news and this is very important yeah I tweeted an hour ago so wow wow yeah um let them fight 